Hey, 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 good morning, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, whenever you watch this video. Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my chick, chick, Gemini, my lovely Gemini's. What's going on, Gemini High Vibe Cross Watcher? I hope everybody is doing well. Sending everybody so much love, lighting, healing, energy. This is my. I put a little bit of my cards in this bag so when I come to the park or the beach or whatever, I can already have that. Anyway, um, it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody, so don't force it, okay? If it doesn't fit, it's just not your story. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So I'm going to get into it really quick. We're going to do our all. We're going to do our Gemini song to raise the vibes because someone is sad or you're sad or you're upset or somebody's trying to reverse a tower, an ending or something, or they're mad or explode. I don't know, babies, but let's get into the Gemini song. One, two, three, oh, T-Girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective, T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective, T-Girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective, come check us out and see what we're about, ooh, we are Gemini, 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 we sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini High Vibe Cross Watcher. And I want to thank everybody for all your love and your support and your subscribes and your donations. I am open for readings. I'm only going to take three readings a day, okay? So, however that works out, that works out. And, yeah. So, let's get into it really quick. The overall energy was the Page of Swords in reverse. Somebody's shocked, Gemini, okay? You're burning through someone's mind, Okay, it could be a fire sign or a Virgo or an air sign. Or they can have all of that in their chart. Or you can have that all in your chart. But somebody's burning the midnight oil. You're burning through someone's mind. Okay, someone possibly wants a new beginning with you. Okay, somebody's trying to figure something out though. How they're going to get this new beginning with you. Because they feel that you're... Maybe they thought you was going to wait on their ass. Oh, hell no, nah, no. Nah. You wasn't going to wait on this person, Gemini. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So I feel like you were divinely led away from this energy that... I don't know. They put you on hold or... This person wants you to forgive them. Okay? So it says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I feel that this person ignored you or pushed your head down. The angels don't like that shit. They don't. They looking at him like, bitch, what are you doing? Look how they looking at him. Okay, I don't know if you see the angels in the background and how she all, or he all, look. And he, and he pushing your head down. This is you I'm getting. And this person didn't learn a lesson. And for that, this person possibly was maybe embarrassed of with, I don't know why they would be embarrassed of my angel. But um, they try to keep you down or hide a secret or hide you as a secret or something like that. But anyway, you said, fuck that shit. I'm going to release you. So you release them. And this is how they made you feel like, fuck. Maybe because you felt a tie to them. This is a con. I'm picking a contract. Spirit just said a contract. So this is a contract that they were holding on to or they were holding on to this relationship. And now the time has come to clear your energy. And this person's like, no don't release me how could you release me because you released them so now they're contemplating and they burn in the midnight oil with you on their mind so this person can't get you out of their mind for whatever actions that they took they're kind of in regret because they knew you were the one they knew you were the one okay so yeah so now someone's going deep within and reflecting so what's going on spirit because maybe you guys were engaged or supposed to be engaged and now this person wants you to trust them and they're like, let's start this love again and I want to marry you. So this person, no, uh-uh. Some of y'all had kids with this person or the angels are really on your side at this point. But somebody want to heal some family issues. So this could be somebody you have kids with or they could be a family member. 
take it however it resonates. It doesn't have to be like love, love, but I'm picking up love, love, like romantic love. So you were paying attention to the red flags, how this person was acting. You see how they were trying to keep you down or hold you back or keep you a, keep a secret or keep you as a secret or whatever. They thought you were gonna be waiting on them forever and ever because they thought that you had so much passion or they had some good genital. Like this person could be well endowed. Mm, I don't know, we gonna pick, mm. Okay, so anyway, so they thought that was gonna be able to keep you. If they had some good poom poom or pinini, they thought that was gonna keep you, but honey, whatever actions that they took, you was like, I'm tired of this shit, so I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, you was the one, I thought you could be the one, but I'm gonna let go of control issues, or I'm gonna let go of you, I'm gonna let go of you trying to control me, or this is you, Gemini, trying to control somebody, and they let your ass go, because somebody didn't wanna let the situation unfold naturally, so they were trying to dictate the movements of this relationship, which ended up, yeah, no. So you don't want to get married. You don't trust this person. Some of y'all still on the fence about it, though. You haven't really completely made up your mind. But this person wants new love with you. Oh, yeah. They, I, mm, and they want to heal things with you. But you like, I'm calling me in another soulmate. I'm calling. And they were like, no, but we've been like, they, they know you're a soul. They know you're a, I don't know if this is a twin flame. Whatever you are, you're a soulmate to this person. Okay. Um. And you've known each other before. So now this person's like, no, you're my person. And I want to heal with you. But you're like, no, nah, you done showed me too many red flags, cuz. Yeah, and I'm going to travel away. I want to leave away. So the angel got in the boat with you. So your angels and God and the divine led you uh, away from this relationship. Okay, maybe on your honeymoon you left this person. Or this person left you at the altar. Or they left you somehow, some way to go be with another family situation. And that was divinely guided too. Their angel, your angels led this person to leave you. Does that make sense? Because your angels saw exactly this person, how they were trying to hide you or how they were treating you or how they were, yeah, and they, and they, and angels and God divine saw how this person kept you on hold. Like who the fuck is you trying to put on hold? So I'm gonna have you release my baby. The contract is null and void because huh, once you breach a contract, it's null and void. They were supposed to move and travel to calmer waters with you. You guys were supposed to enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So maybe this happened around the holidays for some of you guys. Yeah, and they want to get to know you all over again because you done left them behind. So they tried to leave you and you did a do on their ass. Yes, you did because you saw them as a Decepticon. They were wearing a false mask or they was in another... Yeah, you... you they thought you weren't going to see something that you saw. Yeah, they was playing with you way too much. They was talking shit about you. Some of their friends were telling them to um, leave and go to calmer waters. Maybe you didn't fit their their friend circle or their family circle or whatever. So it says ask and accept support from others. So I feel like you went within and you, this support and friends, I feel like it's your angels and the Holy Spirit because that's really who your true friend is. You really can't trust people. Okay, remember, we're angels having a physical experience, a human experience. And if the whole world lieth in wickedness, then, I mean, I'm just saying. So anyway, now this person want to make the effort. Look, maybe you guys known each other since childhood or just a long time. But now this person wants to kiss you on the cheek and they are so attracted to you and they feel like it's love at first. Bitch, shut up. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this person, I don't know what the hell they are doing, but you decided to love yourself. So you had to, yeah, that's what it is. And now this person wants to come back in talking about it's safe for you to love them and we soulmates, bitch, goodbye, goodbye. And they want you to stay optimistic. So now this person's possibly having a spiritual awakening or you're, you ghosted them or child they trying to go within because they're heartbroken because you know the truth or you spoke the truth or some truth was revealed and now this person's on their knees or they took you for a joke and now i guess that was the last straw so now they have stress and anxiety child what is this they like oh my god i caused the tower Oh, shit. Okay, so this person was supposed to transform and go on this journey with you, but they chose something else. They chose to be a... 
What does a squirrel have to do with this? But anyway, they chose to be a squirrel. That's what I'm getting. Or they was trying to gather all the nuts or... <laughs> They was trying to gather all the nuts instead of having this transformation. So God had to come in. Child, this person's too dark. Okay? Too dark for you. Absolutely. So they could be having a lot of anxiety because of whatever tower. So now this person's kind of mad at you. And they're mad at God. And they're mad at... Instead of being mad at themselves, they mad at everybody else because you done left. Or something like that. Because maybe you were putting up with this for some time. I don't know because you really love this person. You guys knew you knew this was a soulmate contract. So you you try to stick it in as long as you could, but when spirit starts showing you that this bitch um is disrespecting you or they was always some of y'all they was just I don't know, they just maybe you gave good. Some of y'all this person's upset because they don't have that mouth action anymore, if you know what I mean. Mhm. Mm some of you, they would just, I don't know what it is. Did they force your head? So would some of them push your head down to their genital area? And you like, what the fuck? Mm. Yeah, that's why this person's really upset for some of y'all. Because y'all gave some good brain, if they, you know what I'm saying. Okay, and um, they thought you was going to wait on their ass. Because they gave good SEX. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about it or something like that. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. And now they feel like, oh my God, what is going on? Are they feeling like foolish or they feel like they want to take a leap of faith or they didn't use their intuition or they're mad they didn't use their intuition because now they're looking at you as everything. I'm hearing that song by Isley. This person possibly was married though. Yeah, I see her wedding ring on her finger. So this person, so maybe you guys were married or they were supposed to marry you or either they were married while they were with you. Okay? So you were the third party. They put you in a third party situation. But because God saw everything and God didn't appreciate this person using you like they did. So some of them were using you for SEX, for sex. Okay? And so God had this person move away from you without them knowing the reasons why they thought it was their own decision but god was like no because this person really wasn't going to release you they was just playing games with you with that playful card they was playing a lot of games with you thinking that you was always going to be there but for some reason you just decided to pay attention to the oh you went through a spiritual awakening this is your transformation the tower and you took a leap of faith and listened to the ancestors because you like god this is you praying so you're praying to God or you're praying to your angels and ancestors like, all I really want is to be happy, to find a love that's mine. It will be so sweet. I ask for a sign from the sweet Lord above. So you was praying to God and he heard you. He heard your cry. Okay? Because he seen that this, look. He knew you was really heartbroken inside or something like that or this person kept you in a third party energy you kept going within so you were in the middle or the midst of having a spiritual transformation and this person right here child what is they decided to go down a whole nother path or you decided yeah you decided to take the world but you just ugh, sorry you guys you decided to take action in your own hands and conquer your demons or conquer the world or conquer your fears or travel away from this person, this King of Pentacles energy, or you decided to go down a path to a King of Pentacles for some of you guys. And now this person is in the Five of Pentacles. It could be a King of Pentacles that's in the Five of Pentacles now because you done left and walked away from them. Okay, but somebody is okay king of swords this is you baby maybe it's you feeling left out from a king of pentacles or gemini male or female you are this king of pentacles so you on you about your money you about you're a business owner or you're on your way or you're starting up a business that's going to make you a lot of money some of you guys have a german shepherd or you have a wolf or a wolf like looking dog i'm getting husky energy you could be older or this could be an older gentleman Okay, with, with, I'm seeing premature gray, but it doesn't have to be. This person's too, was focused on their coin. And so, they, they got left out. Because they was trying to control you and the situation, thinking you was always going to be there. 
So anyway, now this person angry or something there. They want to come and reach out and communicate to you. What do they want to communicate, Holy Spirit, please? They want you to reverse your judgment about them. They want you to give them another chance. They are praying so hard. They probably have scabs on their knees. No, they probably don't. But I mean, they're really feeling it right now. Okay, they feel like they just took a step out of heaven because you were their nine of cups wish fulfillment you were the treasure that's what i'm getting this treasure and they walked away from the nine of cups this wish fulfillment or this something baby okay you they you walked away from this conflict and chaos or competition because this person possibly was married because the king of pentacles is a married person but this is a broke king of pentacles for some of y'all and it's not because the King of Pentacles is usually a business owner, or entrepreneur, somebody that's about their coin. But this one I'm getting is a broke page of Pentacles person. Yeah, and you had to walk away from that because they was not, yeah, they was too, mm, mm, they was, I feel like this person was fighting this connection or relationship because they had you in competition with somebody else from their past. This could be an interracial relationship. It could be a same sex couple. Doesn't have to be, but I'm picking up heavily though. For some of y'all, they put you in competition with the same sex person. The rainbow, yeah, they did. And that's why they were so guarded and defensively against you because they were bisexual for some of you guys, okay? Or they were just very defensive. Some of y'all knew this person was struggling with their sexuality, child. Uh, Yes, yes, and oh, for some of you guys, I'm going to just keep it 100, they were gay for pay, and now you don't want them no more, you bored with the offer, or they got bored, and this person gets bored really quick, or something like that, and they go off to have one night stands, and shit like that, behind your back, but all that did was imprison themselves, look at the child, Archangel Michael is hollering, so now there are, look, this emperor, this is your emperor, was confused about their sexuality. Yeah, yeah. And they was trying to be sneaky and deceptive. Child, and look, somebody was screaming or the crow was screaming or somebody was screaming, honey. Yes. Who was screaming, spirit? Your angels and, your, and the ancestors were screaming. To, t to wake up and pay attention to the red flags and go inside and heal yourself. Okay, because this is a karmic past relationship. You guys have known each other before. So that's why it was so hard for some of you guys to walk away. And that's why it's hard for this person to walk away. Because you completed the end of your contract. Or you completed your, your end of this. Yeah, you completed the contract by going through this transformation and keep it pushing. That's what you did. You didn't stop. You didn't look back. You just full steam ahead. And this person wasn't, they didn't understand how you was going to, so now they stressed out, now they, they crying, or they have a lot of anxiety, or I don't get they're having nightmares, but they're embarrassed. They're ashamed of themselves. This person's more dark than light. And this is why this transformation needed to occur. But they were so busy trying to control you, okay, that they done jumped off the cliff, and now they feel some kind of way, baby. Yeah, you too strong. You resisting them, or... They thought you was, maybe some of y'all could look really, really young and innocent, like you wouldn't hurt a fly, and you wouldn't. But don't let the smooth taste fool you. This person was led to the slaughter, so to speak. And now because they were led away, because they couldn't see the forest past the trees, now they like, oh my God, what did I do? Now, now they have a lot of passion for you. Now they really want to take a leap of faith with you. Now they're, like I said, they on their knees because God gave them some type of epiphany that you was the one and now they're like ah! because they done child because you done moved to calmer waters and took the world by your yeah gemini you're in your masculine energy males and females you are in your masculine energy standing your ground you're cutting out ple people places and things that don't serve you but i'm also getting there's a king of swords energy who is very demonic oh my god i'm looking at this man and i'm like bitch they could be an older gentleman look young for their age maybe they're aging right now they could i don't know but he got this uh crow suit on so i don't know what that 
This is a twin flame for sure. You're very wise or you could be a Libra. Okay, with this owl right here. Or they could have Libra in their chart, however it goes. But they they do things in the dark, you guys. They have all these insects. These, mm, So they, they could have a lot of knowledge as well. So I'm getting uh, this person's an occultist, okay? I wasn't trying to pick up magic. But this person was is doing magic to bring you closer to them. They, they want to move to calmer waters with you. They want to change your your destiny or your your travel location or some of y'all traveled away they don't know where you're at lord have mercy they don't know where you at they like oh my god where's where's nemo so now they're doing this magic and some of them yeah no you like no okay spirit what is going on with this energy now they got their heart you now i don't know if you stopped their heart or you stop you you enamor them or child they you're their wish you see this you know how when the dandelions is that the a dandelion when they go old you can blow it and make a wish so this person's wishing for you because you've kept it. now uh-uh no ace of wands this person is praying for a new beginning with you mm -hmm. they going into a, some type of book now i don't know if it's a spell book well like spirit said it is a spell book that they going into yeah, they studying you or they're looking at you or they're trying to see if the spell worked or this love thing worked because they want stability, this four of wands. But the way that they're going about it is the seven of swords energy. And they are in the five of cups now. They're crying a river. They are crying a river because now the illusion is over. You see through them. I'm getting with this two of, um, two of, uh, two of wands energy. I'm hearing that Nicki Minaj, you see right through me. And they want to know how did you do that shit. So this person probably put a, a love spell on you to cause confusions and illusions. And now, yeah, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I think the illusion is over now with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Look, Seven of Cups in reverse. So the illusions are over. So you see right through this person. Yeah, you done dropped the jug. You ain't going to let them juggle you no more because you clear. Clear. Yeah, you don't want to equal give. This was never an equal give and take in the first place. Not with this person pushing their head down, pushing your head down towards their genital area. Lord Jesus. Um, yeah, they were doing that for some of y'all. They was doing that. Mm, mm, mm. And Jim and I are like, what are you doing? <laughs> now they're all in their emotions. This King of Cups, Emperor Energy. So they could be an Aries. They could be a water cat water cancer they could be a cancer pisces or scorpio energy this man's trying to act like play it cool like it's not like it's not bothering him or her they're trying to act cool like they hand in their pocket okay so i don't know what thumbs have to do maybe this person's missing their thumbs for some of you guys <laughs> that's not funny i don't know why spirit had me giggle on that oh my god maybe they lost their grip because you know you need your thumbs to grip shit right to hold on but they lost control of you, and because they lost control of you, they're all in their emotions about it. Yeah, they got butterflies. I'm hearing that Michael Jackson song, All You Got To Do Is Not Answer My Call When I'm Trying To Get Through. So this person is emotional because you're not answering their calls when they're trying to get through. This person, they thought they were bigger than you. They thought you was a peon, Gemini. Look at him. This giant ass emperor of all these little people around, they like to control people. And that's that's what the same thing I'm getting right here. Maybe they had all these people sucking on it or licking on it. Child, I don't know. But they emotional about it, because like I said, you gave them I'm hearing you gave them good brains, baby. You done Ooh shit. Jim and I. Mm-hmm. But now you don't even look at this person as a ten of cups no more. And they you look at them as emotionally manipulative. This is a masculine energy in their feminine energy because we have the emperor see how she's an emperor is i mean sex is fluid so it doesn't matter but these are telling me like the energy that this masculine energy is in and then you leveled up so you stepped into your emperor empress energy okay and um you look at them as emotional